Hello everyone, just a sprite here and I finally managed to go to Mars with my new deck and Fulgrim. I switched to the Empress Children because they are a chapter where I have uh, a lot of legendaries for and so far it's going quite well. I will not say that you need uh, legendaries to progress over 2000 and higher but I have a very nice collection and it pretty much worked out for me. So what I want to talk about in this video is a fight I had recently which was against the Night Haunter, Conrad Curse, and it was a pretty close one and I think the fight is, is showing very well that you should never give up no matter what the odds. Uh, yeah, you might lose but there are like also chances to win, uh, to recover and I would like to show you the fight. So let's see. Um, that was my hand. I normally went for like uh, cheap cards at first so I can bid a, a board and the Subjugator Titan would be nice to get drawn by Abandoned Supplies that I can play it with 8. Um, so yeah, let's see. Agnomen is a, is a fantastic card, especially with his perfection. So, Conrad is playing the Recon Claw with uh, zero energy flank ability. It's very, very useful and he will use it in this fight a lot. What I do with Fulgrim in the beginning is normally I always use his ability to add a random Emperor's Children tactic to my hand to fill my hand a bit. So, uh, Conrad is attacking right away, try to zerk me down a bit. I do the same again, I create a tactic and I have like a nice stun in my hand to stun Conrad for the first rounds so he does not use his ability to lower my attack and gets a wider health gap. I got the Goldstone Hunters, very nice card, but for now I used Ordovokar and his perfection ability to gain frontline. So this is where the problem begins. With Endra Shrek, he's a very strong character and with the ability of the Recon Claw he has flank now and can attack my Ordovokar with his terror ability, destroys it and gets 2 HP because an enemy of his died. Does not look too good, but that is no problem. I play Abandoned Supplies um, to hopefully get the Titan, but I get the uh, Severin squad, which is nice. I play for the Emperor, or my cast costs one less, and the squad triggers another part of the perfection, so my Wisp of Chaos is down to 60. Normally I don't play for Wisp of Chaos, but if it's if it's nice, it's a nice to have. So if I have the chance to trigger perfections, I obviously do it. But it's, it's very unlikely. 18 costs at first. So he plays the Talon, destroyed with the flank ability again of the Recon Claw. Uh, he pumped up his Endless Shrek and attacks me as well. I have 22 HP, he has 28. But with the 2 damage of my uh, Primark Warlord, Shrek is down to 3 and the Goldstone can destroy him. Uh, a questionable move, I played my Itochin squad for like a f bit of damage. I reduce the cost by 2 for the next card and I play another troop, the bikes, to have a bit of a board. I was uh, very very much uh, driven to the defensive I've heard that and yeah. So, Curse's Chosen is a real trouble. Again, the flank is killing me. Uh, the terror leads to the fact that he does not get retaliation damage, and it looks bad. Three cards in my hand are weakened Itachin squad. So, let's see. Another Severin squad. I, I like this card a lot, but in the late game, it's rather weak. So, I play Agnomen with this ability of perfection, which deals four damage to Curse again, so I lower the gap. I feel a bit like desperate here to attack with a one damage unit. Uh, Agnomen also just gets destroyed because it's chosen. And <laughs> again, uh, support talent very strong. Uh, with the flank ability, can use the stun immediately. And I have a 1 1 and 2 14, and it looks really bad. So, this is the point where he destroys his Recon Claw, gets some HP because I think he expected this to be a win and at this point I was I was very scared as well. Um, 
So I play another for the Emperor and at this point I tried to lower the cost of my cards so I can play hold at all costs with the perfection to get a new hand. Which I do right now. Uh, a last ray if you want to call it like this. So finally I have my heart removal, the perfection flight. And I instantly play it. I don't save for the perfection or anything. I just need the chosen gun. After I did this I play... Uh, the Itogen squad for two with the perfection ability that it also stuns next to the damage so I can finish it off later with the gold stone. My Wisp of Chaos is down to 13. It is manageable and I also have the Subjugated Titan but still um, he plays dirty tricks, uh, he destroys one of my troops, the AE damage kills the next one and my board is cleaned again. I'm down to 12 HP I don't have any here right now, and he's 23 ahead. The problem is the energy is so high that he can, could turn into the Night Haunter soonish, and that would really create a problem. I try to destroy Conrad as fast as possible so he does not get his um, his Whisper off. But yeah, let's see. Manifest Destiny, he buffs up normally a clear sign of the Night Haunter. He lowered the HP of my Skitari to Plector 1 and stopped his attack, but now I can play my Subjugator guy Titan. And see. Here's another. No, this is the Reaper of Kaldrak. So he sets my Titan to not attack. He lowers the damage of my Protector and destroys it with his Warlord. So I have a very strong unit on the field, but it cannot attack right now. I create another tactic and buff my Warlord. I only use that to trigger the perfection of Perfection Flight to destroy the Reaper and also get a perfection. Now the Wisp of Chaos is in reasonable range. range. But again, there it is. Madness, the Night Haunter unleashes. Death is nothing compared to Vindication. So now I have a problem. My Titan cannot attack because it's invisible. I created a Pride of the Emperor, which is like an amazing card. But again, I cannot attack. I built my board in the hopes that when he comes out of the stealth that I can face him and destroy him. But he has another Reaper and blocks again my Titan. So the fourth round of my Titan that he cannot really attack. But he has nothing else for the rest of, of my troops. I create Remembrance Order uh, to create a Manifest Destiny on my own, uh, create a Corrupted Battleship, and now I can play Pride of the Emperor, destroy his second Reaper, get my Whisper of Chaos down to 10 cost, and get the Pride back into the, into the deck, which is an amazing move, and it kinda saved me here to get that card. So what he does now is he clears my board, he clears the defensive, and because he's a Night Haunter now, every time he creates, kills a creature, a unit, uh, he gets stealth. So he destroys the other unit, so my cleave of the Titan does not damage his Warlord. Round number five, I cannot attack him. I have good cards, so I went for a Wisp of Chaos right now, because it's a stalling round anyway. And I turn into the beloved sexy snake, the Demon Prince Fulgrim. He plays Nostromo, blocking my Titan yet again for another round, and plays Duke Mortichair. The problem is he could put my Titan back to the hand, which would be a big disadvantage. But it's my turn now, and luckily I uh, put the Eudicus squad? Whatever. I play him, he has the flank ability. I destroy his duke and my titan is safe. Even if he cannot attack, I try to keep the titan for as long as possible. The problem with the edict is I had... Most of my cards were tactics. Uh, now they are back into the deck and he closed down the gap of the hand. He does not have anything to stun my titan or block him this round. He destroys the shield. Um, I use my ability to steal 3 health of him and use Manifest Destiny to buff up my Warlord for the case that my Titan may die. I need like a small buffer that my Sexy Snake can destroy this beast alone. Yeah, he plays his Dreadnought and um, that's like a questionable move. Uh, he just wants to block my Titan. Um, I hear my Titan, 
So attacking the Dreadnought does not get him into range of Conrad Curse. After that, I play Thordorian with the ability of Perfection, plus two, plus two. And I Zerg him down. The Splash of the Titan also hit Conrad. Uh, the heal was a questionable thing because now he gets invisible again. But I think that was necessary for the Titan health to remain. Again, both are in stealth. Um, I only have units on my hand right now. So what I do is wait till the stealth ends. And I have a very, very good hand, a very good position. And yeah. He destroys the Titan, but still the power on my board is very high. He gets invisible again. He has another Recon Claw, which, which made me very cautious because the last one nearly killed me. I just try to Zerg him down with some AE at this moment and trigger his Survivor 5, best case. He has a Spectre of Judgment, his second removement. <sighs> he kills my Dreadnought and then again with the attack he becomes invisible. This sly guy is not killable. It is very annoying and my cards run out at this point. I'm again down to two, same as his, but he seems to have the stronger cards for now. Again, my Warlord has 21 health, so I'm not too concerned. But let's see. This is it. I draw the defense satellites, which is an amazing thing. Uh, that gets rid of his claw and his survivor. And with this, I can play my bikes, fast attack him, and then use the ability of my Primark. Oh no, with the attack, <laughs> even better, and win this game. So it was a rather long game and I lost hope in between like once or twice, but in my opinion that is like an amazing thing to see that even if it looks dire, never give up, always try to get like the next card, always try to create something. And yeah, this way you can also kill the Night Haunter. Thanks for watching, I see you in the next video, bye bye.